Well, you see, 2016 so far has been a beautiful year, Daniel. And, uh, you know, there's already just so much to see here, and I can't wait, uh, I can't wait for all this beauty to just carry on into the rest of this new year, uh, you know? I think Chris is probably gonna head up this way, so we should probably go. We shouldn't go. Well, I think we should go this way because won't he be heading in this direction too? Yeah. I think he's actually past us. Yeah, I think I think our best bet is to go with the crowd. Okay, hold on. Okay. Stay close. The date is Friday, January 1st, 2016. It is 1.59 in the morning. And we're missing Chris Paracella. <laughs> we sprint for the metro. Yeah, it'll take us 45 that's, minutes to get there. That's no fun. No, it's the only way you're getting home. Uh, yeah, seriously. We lost him exactly two hours ago. Well, not exactly, more or less two hours ago. We were... We were watching the fireworks, and then it ended, and then we saw the crowd just begin to move like a current in an ocean. So we said, we shouldn't go that way. We're never gonna make it onto the uh, metro. So we instead cut through it, and I was sort of leaving the pack, so that's when I sort of lost sight of Chris. And so we got to a high elevation to find Chris. You would have gone one of two ways. Either shot them off or <laughs> uh, after about ten to fifteen minutes of just looking for Chris, we decided he'd just find a metro. So we kept walking. And so we went to one metro, and it was so filled that we just left and went to a different one. We ended up going to a... What was the name of it? Barry. Barry Uquam. Uquam. So we went to that, Barry Uquam, and then uh, found ourselves, like, waiting for a long time. The, the metro system was congested and bogged down by all the people. No, that there's security people. Man, I am sweaty. I don't know if Chris made it. I don't think she'll leave. What? We don't know if Chris leaves. This is, okay, so if we leave, we can't come back. That's true. Place the phone. What? Take the phone. I checked her right before we get down. down and look for Chris. So we got up and we found a bench after about another three minutes of Chris Paracello's calling. Chris, Chris, where are you Chris? Chris. Chris, where are you? I don't know. D did you ever make it to a metro station? Oh, I did, and I literally, I waited half an hour for the metro, and then one showed up that was full, and then the second, a second one showed up and it was full, and then they said, like, everyone out, like, that's all the train. And so now I'm waiting for a bus that comes by the out, but there's a huge line for the bus, um, so I don't even know if I'm gonna get on this one. And the next one doesn't come for an hour. But it takes me right to uh, Jordan Q. Oh, perfect. But I'm, I'm gonna be waiting another half an hour, and then maybe another hour, so. Okay. A little bit pissed. 
Well, I'm happy you're safe and you have a way home. Why did, why, why did any of you call me? I, like, we I was, did. I don't have Dan. I didn't get to that part in the story. I was just going to say it, but yeah. We got, like, waited for you and we called and texted. I haven't done any text. I don't know if I'm going to make it on the spot. I don't know if I'm going to make it on the spot. 